Welcome American Truckers to Trucking with Old Snapper. I'm your host, Old Snapper. Anyway, before I get into this, what's on the screen, I'm going to talk about something else first. Uh, Central, out of Texas, uh, is closing their doors. They've been open for 96 years, I believe. Um, but they're going to be slowly shutting down. I know that's bad news for some of those guys. Man, they all got families. We're coming up on Christmas time. If you see one of those guys out there, man, give them a hand. We don't leave our brothers and sisters uh, uh, hanging. You know, that we are family out here, even if we are dysfunctional at times. Um, if you, any of you work for Central and you get stuck somewhere, y'all are free to reach out to me or, or uh, anyone else within the organization of American Truckers United. You can reach us at American Truckers United at gmail.com and uh, we will do everything we can do to try to help you. All right, let's get into this. Do y'all remember the accident that happened in uh, 2019? The Cuban immigrant, I would try to pronounce his name, but I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Rogel Aguilera Medros. Some, something like that but uh, anyway he was the one on I-70 who uh, lost his brakes coming downhill he passed up the the uh, emergency off ramp you know the runaway truck ramp and ended up crashing into the cars down below well they released today he's been sentenced he was sentenced to 110 years total um the crash that claimed four people's lives and injured six i'm just going to kind of skim over this i'm not going to read it all word for word uh he had he was convicted on 27 criminal counts and they're all to be served con consecutively which sucks if you ever find yourself in court you want to listen to what it, what a judge says because if you have multiple charges if they put them concurrent that means they're all being served at the same time. So whatever your longest sentence is, is what you're serving. If the judge says they're all to be conserved consecutively, you've got to do each one of them. So they total them all up, and that's your total time. I'm going to read to you what he said when he was in court. He said, I'm dying. It's hard to live with this trauma. I can't sleep, he told the court. I'm thinking about the victims. This was a terrible accident. I know I take responsibility, but it was not intentional. I am not a criminal. I believe he's sorry and uh, and all that. And, and I think this is a little bit lengthy amount of time that he received, but that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, what do y'all think? How do y'all feel about this? He has 49 days he can uh, appeal and seek uh, reconsideration of his sentence, which he'll probably do from the county jail. Once you're sentenced, it takes several weeks before you ship out and head to a prison. And uh, when he does go to prison, he'll go to a diagnostics unit, which he'll be at for anywhere from a few weeks to a few months before he's sent to a regular prison. So I'm sure he's going to be... Uh, submitting his appeal within the first he's probably already done it a lot of times when when uh, your attorney knows you're going to get sentenced they're already working on uh, appeal paperwork before that sentence ever happens especially in this case knowing the amount of time he was facing well i wanted to touch base with y'all let y'all know what happened with this case here it is i'll be linking uh i'll be linking this down in the description for all of you that want to go read about it look into it and see for yourself I am interested in what y'all think do y'all think he got too much time do y'all think he didn't get enough time um what well, what would you have done I mean how do you feel it should have come out uh transportation nation network is the ones that uh, released this that I'm reading right here I'm sure freight waves will have something coming out on it pretty soon and I get freight wave stuff uh instantly so I'm sure I'll have more of an update from them as well. If anything happens with the with the appeal, I will uh, update all of y'all right here on uh, 
trucking with old snapper well ladies and gentlemen it's not going to be a long one i just wanted to put this out there as i was reading this this evening and uh for any of y'all who may have missed it throughout the day please like and subscribe if you're new uh share this with others man because drivers need to know it don't our mistakes can lead us to prison it's very important that we think everything we do through it's uh, very important that we we check our equipment before we leave and that uh, we do everything we can to make sure that everything's okay not only for facing prison time but also the loss of life and uh, there's more lives than just those that are lost right here that are affected because this young man's parents are going to probably watch their son die in prison. He's probably going to be in prison the rest of his life. But y'all take care, stay safe, and keep trucking.